This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Tamara Kalinic or Kalinic and um I'm so happy that Tamara is doing better after that terrible, you know, I made a video on this already so you could check it out card section up above. Um, after she was burglarized, somebody broke into her apartment and took all of her luxury bags and goods away from her that she had in that Paris apartment. It was devastating um, for so many reasons, and I touched base on all those reasons in that video, so go check out that video if you want to know more about those details. But Tamara has purchased... She's starting slowly to build up her collection again, and she has purchased... And this is when I'm called into the cause because, you know, I'm a big Chanel lover. She bought two Chanel bags. And a lot of you have been sending me a DM saying, Hey, Jacob, did you see Tamara got two Chanel bags? Um, you should make a video about it because you all know how much I love Chanel bags. So, okay, here I am. Now, Tamara's video is called... Tamara Kalinik restarting my bag collection and then she also on the thumbnail post something like emotional unboxing okay so i have a couple of screenshots here to share with you which let's cut to the chase after we've thumbed up this video if we like it thus far and we subscribed to my channel here on youtube you can also push the join button next to the subscription button become a member today Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco Ball spelled together on Patreon. Join me there for extra perks. <laughs> Thank you to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. Um, this video is being filmed live in front of a live audience. I live stream every Saturday. Be sure to join me every Saturday in my live streams and we get to spend a lot of fun time together. There's many hours of live streaming, a lot of topics to cover. So thank you to all my co-chatters who are with me in the chats right now. Let's get to the topic at hand. So I'm here to dissect those bags that Tamara got. Super exciting. So the first one we're gonna show is a small. So here's a screenshot. By the way, I will post the link to this video by Tamara in the description box of my video. So be sure to follow the link to see Tamara's unboxing and to subscribe to her channel as well. Okay? All right. So we got Tamara's uh, small, double flap small, which she got in that kind of fluo blue with the rainbow hardware. And the cross stitch. <laughs> now, this is, uh, yeah, what can I say? Um, check, I'm going to post it up here and in the description box down below. So card section and description box, my video where I touch base on the cross stitch. Hmm. Briefly, what does it mean? This is a size small. There's this little cross stitch there and the long stitch there. That was not made by Chanel, by the Chanel factories up until a couple of seasons ago. Here is the example of a small double flap, just like hers is a small double flap. You see how down here we have that open stitch. There is no cross stitch going there as well as here. That's the case. This is how you identify a small really immediately without having to count the quilts or anything. The mediums have that open stitch up here. Um, then the jumbos have an open stitch, I think, also up here. So it's it's a very interesting pattern that Chanel uses, but they've kind of went a bit cheap on us because it's so it seems. So I explain everything in my video about these stitches, the smalls and the mediums. But... Um, People have been, you know, we've been, we've been asking ourselves, wait, does it have, is it an authenticity problem? Are the ones with the cross stitch, maybe somebody, you know, bought the authentic one and brought back a fake one later on. It doesn't seem to be the case. It seems as though they're authentic as well. They've just been sourced out. Seems like that manufacturing with that extra stitch, a little bit lower quality. Also because the panel of the bags 
the way that they should be made. You see how the front panel goes all the way to the bottom? And we don't have the bottom panel poking out. Which we do have with the cross stitch bags because they're not so structured. They're produced a little bit quicker, to say the least. So you have that kind of bottom. You have the bottom panel, the bottom of the bag kind of poking out there. You see? You have the floor of the bag not completely covered by the front panel of the bag. For who knows, knows. It's little anal details, but they're very important. So you see here, it doesn't show at all. You only have the front panel, and the front panel goes all the way to the bottom, curves, and then we have the bottom panel inserted there. So in fact, if you look at the bottom of the bag, the top panel is going to, it's covering the, the bottom panel. It takes time to do that. If, you know, if you produce a bag a bit cheaper, then the bottom panel is going to show. And these extra stitches that are there or not there, that's also a pattern making thing. By pre-stitching the hides, before pre-quilting them, before cutting them into shape, you save time and money too. So anyway, it doesn't seem to be an authenticity issue, but rather quality saving money issue in manufacturing. So check out my video on that topic. But anyway, so Tamara doesn't know these things. Probably she doesn't care about these things. Also, probably she just loved the color of the bag. More power to her because at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Some, a geek like me, to me, it means something. It doesn't have to mean something to you. But anyway, it's a beautiful color and the bag inside. So this is the size that she got, right? The small double flap timeless classic. Mine is from 2015. Oh God, it's so beautiful. Anyway, sorry. I'm just like in awe always on my back. Okay. So mine is from 2015. So anyway, we have the bag and inside the leather is... I don't have a screenshot of the bag on the inside. Doesn't really matter. The inside is like a purpley, beautiful leather. So these are kind of the double-sided bags. That's why the gold hard. That's why the hardware is also rainbowy. The leather reflects the rainbowy aspect of the hardware. So the bag itself also has those nuances of the rainbowy hardware within the bag. So you do see a little bit of that purple poking out there from the inside of the bag. And then the gold hardware also has kind of blue and purple hues in it. Not the gold hardware. The hardware has the purple and a blue hues in it, so the bag reflects that as well. Super cute. Now you wanna, you might ask yourself, this is Tamara, by the way, for some of you who don't know uh, who Tamara is. This is Tamara and she's showing us her blue or fluo blue, timeless classic, seasonal colorway, Double flap. The second bag she got was a mini. And she said she only had ever one mini before. She wasn't really into the minis. But now for her second Chanel bag, she wanted a mini. And she got this olive green rectangular mini olive green. I call it Baby Yoda green because... I mean, let's be honest about it. It is kind of... No, actually, it's not really Baby Yoda skin color. It's more Yoda, like the older... Like Yoda when he gets a little bit older. It's kind of... It is kind of the Yoda color. Here she's about to open the bag. And we see the blue mini in the background. Ah, here's a close-up of the rectangular mini. I didn't really get to see if they were made in France or in Italy. She's very quick about showing them. So when she opens it, she doesn't really kind of take away the interior paper to show kind of if it was made in Italy or in France. She doesn't mind that. And this is an interesting point that she points out, the length of the bags. Here you can see it's very interesting how the small has a shorter chain than the mini. The mini does fall lower 
than the small. And this is why I always say, let me zoom it in like this. This is, guys, this is why I always say you have to try the bags on. Just because a bag is called a mini doesn't mean the chain is shorter than a bag that's called the small. The small has a shorter chain than the mini. So a lot of things fall into the game of proportions, what fits, what doesn't fit. Both fit beautifully. Aunt Tamara, in fact, she says she loves them for different reasons. She loves the fact that one hits the hip, that the other one hits right above the hip. Um, so I agree with her. It's a great choice. Like if you have the budget, the first two, if you want to buy, two, I mean, I would buy just one. Bottom line. But you've been through a trauma, you've lost so much, and you do have money still. So I get it. Then buy two fine if you can afford it more power to you however i would have chosen a different mini there's only one mini for me and that would be the 255 <laughs> so honestly i oh you guys and the only reason why i mean i agree with getting this one and the only reason why is because she wanted this size and i didn't choose the 255 version of this one because it doesn't exist this size and this price range the 255 is not made so you have to jump up to a timeless classic double flap medium which is equal to a 255 classic size because you know we have four official sizes of the double flap timeless classic but only three official sizes of the 255 so so let's just say that this size slash price range is not made as the 255. That's why there's no alternative to this one. That's why I say yes. And by the way, the Timeless Classic Double Flap in size small is my favorite of the four sizes of the Timeless Classic. But when it comes to the Mini, it's the 255 for me. I, I would have recommended Tamara to get a 255 over the rectangular mini just because as we've seen in the photo they're also very similar to so she already has a double c logo on the small get something more sophisticated for the mini go for this for the for the other type of hardware other type of leather because she got two lambskins and this is where i'm like the baby the, the yoda green is a lambskin the fluo blue is a lambskin they both have the double c lock you know if you're going to get two bags, alternate. I would have recommended her to get a mini 255, which, which has different hardware, different shape lock, different leather. And I would have recommended the Timeless Classic double flap with the double C logo. I think, though, I think these two... Hold on, you guys. I think these two are just amazing pendants to each other. They're different enough to really warrant the purchase of both of them. Hold on. Let me make a screenshot here. Wait, hold on. This deserves a screenshot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Just a little some some little screenshot. I might use it as a thumbnail or might not. But what I want to say is this warrants, if you have the budget, this is the purchase you make. Because they're so different from each other that they justify each other. You get the best of the worlds of Chanel. You get the classic. I know it's not a double flap. doesn't matter. You get the classic Coco design. And then you get the the Karl Lagerfeld era, his 30 years of reign over Chanel. And before that, you get Coco Chanel. And they have different leathers, even though they're both black. Now... Something very interesting. Anyway, this is just my two cents, right? I would start with these two. And I not because this is how I would do it. I mean, comparatively speaking to Tamara's choice, I would veer from her choice and I would have recommended these two instead of the combo that she got. Not necessarily color-wise, just shape-wise, okay? Now, if I were to choose for my own first... I would probably, if I had the budget, I would do double flap timeless classic and double flap classic size 255. Not the single flap, but the single flap comparatively to her mini, because this is a mini as well. So now as for the colors, um, I would not get either one of the two bags. I 
I'm not a fan for me personally of either one of the two colors. However, I love her reasoning. Her personal reasoning was really cool, you guys, because Tamara said, hey, you know what? It's very traumatic for me to have lost all my bags. They were all stolen. It's just well, almost all my bags, not all of them. And it's just been super messy. And it just doesn't feel right for me to start purchasing the same bags all over again. She did say that her boyfriend bought her Constellation Prize uh, a Birkin or a Kelly. One of the two. Of course, Hermes always has them in the back if the right person asks for them. She says that in her video that he, he got her the, the Birkin or Kelly. I don't know. It doesn't matter. For me, they're both this, both of them. I just... Whatever. She got an Hermes dream bag, right? But she said for these two, she said, I have this criteria. I don't want to repurchase what I lost. Which is a criteria she didn't really follow with the beauty pal, the beauty bag from Louis Vuitton, all that stuff. Like she's repurchasing the ones she already had. But then again, that's different with Louis. I also repurchase the same stuff after I've used it a long time. If I have to repurchase, because their pieces are just so timeless. You want that one beauty case. You, you don't go for another color. I get it. That's different. But for Chanel, she said, I don't want to rebuy the same colors. In many cases, the colors that I have were limited edition anyway. They're not available anymore anyway. But I don't want to buy the classics. If I had a bag in a classic colorway, I don't want to buy it again. I want to buy it new. With a new color to experience it in a new way so it doesn't remind me of, you know, of having lost the other one. I don't want to buy it. I don't want to buy the same color I had before. And I get it. I totally understand what she's saying. In a way, it's like saying it's new. I, it doesn't feel completely like buying something that has been stolen already, but because it's different hardware, it's a different color, it feels like maybe I would have bought this bag even though I still had my old bag, had the old bag not have been stolen. So I understand that reasoning. I understand the psychology behind it. And I completely concur. And I agree with her. It's a good approach to this. Again, given the budget, if you have the budget for it, yes, it's a, it's a good way of thinking through it. Now, having said that, however, you always need a black Chanel bag in your collection. Like you're going to sooner or later tomorrow, you're going to have to get a black Chanel bag from. I mean, I haven't watched many of your videos, so I'm not so sure if you had two five fives in your collection. If you haven't even more reason to get one, they're the best Chanel bags ever to uh, double flap or single flap, but you need a 255 in your collection. This is a special edition. They don't make this anymore. It is made in the classic from 1955, as close as it gets. Gold hardware, the shiny champagne gold hardware. This was only made for the first edition, 2019, with the Metier Da, the Paris slash New York slash Egypt collection, my favorite of all time. That's when this one came out. The first mini 255 that came out was this one, and I got it. I'm so thrilled and happy to have gotten it with the shiny hardware. So this one also contrasts my 255 double flap classic size, which has the aged gold hardware. So I try to vary. If I get another version of a 255, I try to have something different in the 255 to warrant a bit more of that purchase. So the mini has the shiny gold hardware, the classic size that I have has the aged gold hardware, and the 226 slash large jumbo size has the ruthenium hardware. They all three have the aged calfskin leather, but it's the hardware that changes. So I would say Tamara, highly recommend you get a 255 no matter what size whatever size suits you but i recommend that it's going to make you feel amazing because it's such a timeless timeless special piece anyway that's all i had to say i'm super happy that tamara's starting to rebuild her collection that she didn't lose faith in the love of, of luxury goods these bags are so beautiful and they definitely for whoever can afford them they deserve to be worn and loved and that, that love is being shown to them because they really are beautiful pieces at the end of the day and i'm happy that she didn't go sour on these objects because they were stolen from her once already you know that she's saying ah f it i'm gonna start all over again and i'm gonna make it even better and brighter and more colorful and more happy and more full of life than it was before that's a really positive approach to to life and stepping over obstacles and starting anew with good positive energy thumbs up for me i don't know what you guys think
Yes, but no, says Jacob. Are you thinking about how the Lagerfeld era bags will be viewed in 20, 50 years' time? <sighs> well, the only car... I'm sorry to say this, you guys. This is going to sound very harsh. But the only car Lagerfeld bag that will be viewed in 20, 50 years from now is this one. Not the boy bag, not the Gabriel, not the 19. Those are all very time-specific bags. This is the only timeless classic. The name says it, timeless classic. This is the only Lagerfeld era bag that will be actual 20 to 50 years from now. Bottom line, bottom line. And the only reason why it's going to be so actual is because it's so close to the original, which is the 255. The only thing he changed, he made it a little bit more boxy, structured, and added this new hardware. But everything else already existed in the time of Chanel. He didn't in invent the intertwined leather and the in the chain star. This is not Carl. This happened before Carl. So he added this lock. So this bag, in fact, is the 255, just made for the 80s. Updated to a 80s version of its own self. Like a powerhouse 255 with shoulder pads. That's what the Timeless Classic is. And this is the only Karl Lagerfeld bag that's going into history, you guys. Let's be very clear about this. The boy bag, the Gabrielle bag, the girl bag, the Millennium 2005 bag, the 19 bag. Nope, 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 nope. Kevy uh, W says... 255 Twins! I have the original reissue 226 from 2005 and the first shiny mini 255 and agreed that she needs a black 255. She totally does. My heart goes out to Tamara, says May. Cece says, I think she still has some classics in her collection that wasn't stolen. Yeah, from London, she did say. She does have some older style bags, she says, uh, in London. Probably she don't want to confirm that they were stolen, just guessing. I don't know. Yes, but no, says Jacob. I think you are wrong about the 19. I respectively disagree. I think it offers the modern woman a casual chic go-to. Much love. Yeah, I never said it didn't. Where are we disagreeing here? I say it's not a memorable bag. It's not going to age well. Nobody's going to care about it in a couple of years. It's very actual now. It's very now. You you want it now. But girl, let's talk in... Not even in 10 years. Let's talk in three years from now. Three or four years from now. Let's have this conversation again and let's see just how well the 19 will age in just that short amount of time. Let's see. Because only time can tell. The bag is still too new. Uh, only time can tell, you know. So, with the 19 bag, only time can tell. BB says, how do we know it's a quality and not an authenticity problem? Hey, we, we don't. Only Chanel can confirm that, you guys. Only Chanel can confirm. Jesus said, she made choices. May says, I agree. Both of her bags are so similar in size, hardware, and the colors are even on the same side of the color wheel, not offering much variety and making it seem a little redundant in my opinion. Dixie says, what leather is your uh, Mini 255? De-stressed calfskin. De-stressed calfskin, just like the double flap 255s. Yes, but no, says, I hate to say it, but the reissue 255 would only exist with Carl's classic in between. <laughs> no. How can you say that? The 255 was born in 1955, way before Carl was even in the picture. Uh, Jesus says, nah, it ain't got a CC logo. She don't want... Oh, nah. Jesus says, if it doesn't have a CC logo, she doesn't want it. That's just speculating. <laughs> strictly influencer only, he says. Let's keep it strictly influencer only with Tamara. Okay, throwing some shade. I mean, she is an influencer. She has to work with these brands in a way, but they could have gifted it to her also. Did she have to buy it? Like, you know what I mean? She chose to buy it. So in a way, she loves these bags as well. And she said this in her video very openly, and I like the way that she's so transparent in her video. She says, this is also my job. I also need to wear these bags because I also represent. She was very, very transparent about it in her video. She didn't shy away from talking about it. And I really respect that from her. I respect the fact that she was as transparent as she could be. She can't say everything. But she said a lot. For somebody at her level, millions of followings, 
followers on Instagram to speak that openly about certain things, commendable, commendable. She didn't have to. She didn't have to at all. You know, uh, living for the 255 mini says DLB. May says, I prefer the way the small hits on her. The mini rectangle strap is too long. Uh, sorry, it's too short for me. And mind you, I'm 5'9". Oh, it's too long for me. And mind you, I'm 5'9". It's, it's a very, very long chain. Oh, and another reason I forgot to mention why I prefer this mini to the rectangular or the square minis is because those only have two grommets. This one has four. Hence, we got, we can play with the length. You can't do that with the mini, with the Timeless Classic Mini, I want to call it. Uh, but you can with the 255 Mini. So it's just much more added value to a bag, in my honest opinion. And they cost the same, by the way. They both have the same price. Julie Schott says, that looks like mini or sage, a mint or sage green. I've never seen an olive that color. Yes, but no, says, I think Tamara is more well-known on the continent than elsewhere. She's wonderful. Is she a model or an influencer only? She's also been a model, and she's both, I guess. And she's an entrepreneur, you know, she's a businesswoman. Penelope says, yes, avocado. Oli Soto says, maybe it's an avocado green. Paris Tamara says, escargot green. Jesus says, baby Yoda green, are you kidding me? Oli Soto says, pea green, whatever. It's a shade of green. <laughs> Paris says, love her apartment. Wait, was that the new apartment? It seemed like she was in some huge, I don't know where she was, in this video at least. So you're talking about the apartment that she used to have in Paris, because I don't I, I don't know if she's going to move away from there. I would not want to live there anymore after that happened. Kimberly says, can't unsee that stitching now. I know, neither can I, ever. May says, yes, I have noticed all the new small flaps with the added cross stitch seem to be poorly crafted. They're wobbly. They're wobbly. They're not sharp, you know? They're not cut just right because these are like so perfectly cut to the minimal detail and the other ones are not. Dixie says, I just got my small double flap with the ruthenium hard... No, sorry, with the rose gold hardware and it is correct. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Happy, ha happy you got the correct one. Paris says it's not properly stitched. It, it's, it, it is, but the standards are lower. Eh? It's about quality. You see that they kind of cheapened out a little, and we're like, let's cut some corners, let's save a few dollars here by making it a little bit, you know. Olivo says yes. Loved your cross stitch video. That was fire. Thank you so much, Olivo. Dra says, a yes, but no, not to criticize her personal choices, but I don't think you should be discouraged. Just be keen on security if you have thousands of dollars worth of stuff. KDF says, oh my God, I love that bag. I have the 255 Mini too. I know, I live for this little cutie. KDF says, she was transparent. I was impressed. Yes, right, Katie? I love the fact that Tamara was straightforward, transparent, loved the vibe loved the honest as honest as she could be given the circumstances and i'm super happy that she's and this is not about the money because she has the money obviously i i'm super happy that she has that strength and willpower to want to be happy again you know by getting a new bag to to have the thrill of unboxing it to to enjoy the unboxing to enjoy the the joy of, of having it again without kind of suffering too much for the loss I thought it was cool. Her approach, I thought it was cool. Mm, Candy Fluff says, love the playable chain. Two bags in one. Yeah, 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 definitely. Rizology says, love Tamara and Jacob. Thank you so much, Riza. So you guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, subscribe to my channel, thumb up the video, uh, and uh, push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today, gain access to extra perks, such as being listed here in the scrolling bar as co-producer of the Fashion Bunker. Same applies if you join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together on Patreon. Thank you to all my patrons and members who have pledged. Thank you to all my super chatters and to all my chatters in the in the live uh, chats with me. I live stream every Saturday. Don't forget to join me in my live streams and get to share all your opinions in the chats together with me. 
thumb up this video if you haven't thus far. Remember to thumb it up. Get the merch, www.superdacob.com, which also reminds me. Let me drink from my glass. Mm. Gotta hydrate. Got to hydrate. Let me read some more comments. Yes, but no says, I think the criticism of quality is extremely important in maintaining Chanel quality. They will go off the cliff otherwise, even inadvertently. But they probably hate the criticism because they want to be seen as perfect, squeaky clean. They're not. So are we not allowed to voice our concerns? I think we are. Hmm. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, follow me on my Chanel Instagram profile. Coco Chanel is in my house, all spelled together. I'm dedicated to my Chanel collection and dedicated to Chanel's Coco's life. Coco Chanel Privé, all spelled together. Otherwise, you can follow me on my crazy Instagram profile. Super Dig of all spelled together, as well as uh, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.